Hello, my name is Michael Driscoll, and in this video, we are going to learn about how to use fonts in Report Lab. So Report Lab is a tool or a package that you use to create PDFs using Python. So this is from one of my books, uh, PDF Processing with Report Lab and Python. Um, you can check it out when you if you're really interested. But anyway, so I created a font demo, and it really makes it easy to see what fonts are included with Report Lab. Um, it comes with around, well, actually we're going to find out, because I don't remember off the top of my head. What we'll does do this? So let's uh, import some page sizes. I like, I like to use um, letter, because I'm American. But uh, the default for Report Lab is uh, A4. So you don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I, I personally like to. Uh, the other thing we want to do is we're going to uh, import the canvas. Let's see if I can get this to spell correctly. Report lab. All right, canvas. The canvas is the object that you write to. To it's kind of where you paint your your PDF. So you paint on a canvas. You write to your canvas in uh, PDF land. So we'll go ahead and create a font to demo function, and we will say my canvas. This will be the canvas object, and then what fonts we want to load. All right. When you mess with uh, Report Lab, it always starts. You always want to start in the upper left-hand corner, which is about 750 uh, pixels, or not pixels, points. In Report Lab, everything is measured in points. So if you want to be exact, you can use this. This will get you pretty close to the upper left-hand corner of the page. All right. So let's see. You want to do four font in fonts because this will be like a list of fonts. And then we'll do my canvas, and we'll say set font to the font, and we'll set it to size 12, so 12 point font. And then, of course, we want to actually draw it. So to draw, I draw something in that font. You can say draw string with your canvas object. We want it 30 points from the left, so this will indent it 30 points from the left hand side of the page. And we want it to be position position Y, so 750 pixel or points from the bottom of the page. And of course, we want to set the font, so we pass in the font object or the font name. I mean, so this these are a list of strings. So this is going to have um, we're going to set it to a string font. This is actually sets the font itself. And then we, we're going to write the string so we know which font we're actually printing out. And then to make things nice and nice, we'll just subtract 10 points so that the next font will get written underneath the previous font. All right, well, that looks pretty good. That should write out all the font, all the standard fonts for us. But now we need to actually learn how to pass in those standard fonts. So let's see, here we go. My canvas equals canvas dot canvas. And we'll say font demo PDF. And we'll set the page size. Oops. Get ahead of myself there a minute. All right, page size equals letter. And then we say fonts equals my canvas. I'm not sure why it's not auto-completing. Sometimes this editor gets a little bit silly. Usually it works really well for this, so I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, font demo, my canvas, and fonts. And then, of course, we want to save it. So we actually have a, fi a file. So this function is the part we care about. My canvas has a or report lab. Uh, has built-in fonts like Arial, Times Roman, uh, etc., and Courier, I believe, and a couple of others. And it has variants of those, so you get the bold and the italic versions. So this will just grab whatever those fonts are. We're going to pass that list of fonts to our font demo. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and try running this. So there's no output when you run this code, uh, except for the file itself. So if I go over here, I should be see a font demo, and I do. Let's uh, open that in Finder, and we'll open up the PDF. 
Okay, so here we go. You can see that it's created three, four different types of courier, Helvetica, uh, Times Roman, and then there's some kind of like junk fonts that it didn't really print out very well. But anyway, everything worked the way we wanted it to, and it looks really nice. So you can kind of play around with that. Um, I also want to let you know that uh, Report Lab does um, work with TTF fonts and related types fonts, so you can also use those types of additional fonts that you have installed on your computer, but it does other steps. And I'll cover that in another uh, different video. But for now, you, you can go and play with it and see what you can do. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.